right, it's the Rundown Tuesday brought to you by SoFi. Did you know that you're being underpaid by your bank account? It means you're not getting enough interest on your money. It's just sitting in your checking account or in your savings account. You're not making enough on your money. SoFi money is the best of uh, checking and savings accounts put into one account. You'll earn way more interest on it. There's no fees, no account fees, no overdraft fees. Uh, even ATM fees get reimbursed. So open up yourself a SoFi account. Make money on your money. Go to SoFi.com slash Barstool. S-O-F-I dot com slash Barstool. Make that money. You're going to need money, Dan, because you're going to be a dad. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Congrats. But it's Francis' birthday. Yeah, that was. That's more. If, that's if, what. Stop. Stop. Stop, I, stop. 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 I, uh, it's Francis' birthday. I, I, I almost birthday. have to imagine that you chose to announce this today. I did just, not. Just to cuck his birthday. I, I thought about not. that. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm not going to be here on Friday. So it was So it was just a happy accident. because. Well, it's it was, I mean, I if there was one, one person that could get birthday cucked. You've already birthday cucked Riggs. And now you, 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 you birthday cucked. It was like uh, the first thing I said when I saw the, the announcement. Francis, I, was like, I didn't realize it like was that. his birthday. Um, he's still, but he's having a party in a couple weeks. So that will be his... Yeah, whatever. We did kind of walk away. When, like, oh. what, so what are we looking at? Like June-ish for the baby? Yeah, we need, So maybe we can birthday cuck somebody. Anybody got a June birthday? Well, I was here? just saying. I mean, I hope baby cat. Will yeah, really we're cuck hoping somebody. that that it comes right when Dave's in Nantucket, so that way I can just go like five years without Dave even realizing I have a child. <laughs> That'd be sweet. I can basically grow like the like you know how we always. It's not going to be content. But like someday, my child will be strong and come and kick his ass. And he'll be like, I didn't even know you had a kid. And that'd be great. I'll be honest, I didn't realize you were actually having a kid till I was like halfway through the blog. <laughs> I saw like I'm gonna become yeah. a dad. And Wouldn't I was that like, be like, what's like, up? Would that be so about? fucked like, up if I was like, yeah, I'm getting another dog? <laughs> yeah. I thought yeah. it would be something like that. I was yeah. like, I was like, oh, he lost a part of my take bet. He right. Adopt something. <laughs> right. Yeah. Imagine. And then halfway through the blog, I was like, oh shit, he's yeah. having a kid. Hank is too. He's gonna get a cat soon. Hank Everybody's family is growing here. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank Buckle you. up. Thank you. Dan said to me on, on the Barcelona Gold podcast, he was like, you know, I already don't sleep a lot, so I'm not worried about that. And I got three TVs, so I'll still be able to watch everything. I was like, yeah, okay. See how that works out for you. We'll see. <laughs> I could just already <laughs> picture you like, flip yeah, down, like baby in one hand, like bowl of potato chips in the other, like yeah. a, a good like Sunday. Yeah, Erica just said watching I was going to get fat. I was like, going to get fat? Yeah. That's Okay. She just she was kind of walking around the office, just being like, Dan doesn't realize how fat he's gonna get. Yeah, it's like the, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, all right, on to the sports news of the day. Um, bad news. Well, Bob Fox is here because we got to talk Conor McGregor, but also new podcast out. We'll talk about that in the uh, after show. But we start off with Conor McGregor. Uh, I did not realize. So Conor McGregor, uh, there's allegations of sexual assault. Yep. I did he not retired. Really, and the retired last night. Uh, that was a smart move. If you retire, then that like basically gets away, gets all the stuff off, right? That's the rule. <laughs> That's a, it felt like that was calculated. Now that the other news came out, yeah, it, it feels it like the retirement like, at three in the morning on a random makes Tuesday. Makes a little more sense. Yeah. yeah. There was when the John more. Jones like scandal was going yeah. on with his legal issues. They like stripped him, stripped him of the title, suspended him. Maybe he's like, again, suspend me. I'm retired. Right. I'm retired. I'm he's like here. declaring yeah. bankruptcy. Yeah. Is yeah. So, stopped. so when the case but, is done, if he can come back, he'll be like, yeah, you didn't suspend me. I was retired. Yeah. I didn't realize that this was, as you said, like the worst kept secret. It, it kind of was the worst kept secret, especially for those like in the MMA world. There are these like WhatsApp groups from Dublin that like always. Everyone thinks it's like the biggest inside info ever, and they leak to everywhere. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them were saying this since like mid December. Right, you said December 9th or 10th was like the date that this ha allegedly happened. Yeah, I've known probably since December 10th. Right, but and there's a bunch just, of legal reasons you yeah, can't say things. You can't say things because over in Ireland, uh, no names for ongoing cases like this can be released until the case is completely concluded. That seems like a good law. Yeah. yeah. Which obviously something has developed, or, or maybe the New York Times over here just said, fuck it, we don't care about I'm not rules, sure what it was, because the last the actual development, I wrote the blog, um, I've had the blog written for a while, but the last actual development I saw was on January 17th, that like uh, Connor was co cooperating, and he turned himself in, gave like DNA samples, did stuff like that, and then they released him, and they were like, we'll decide what to do from here. And then not it kind of went silent for a few months, and everyone was like, did somebody get paid off? Did, you know, it was rumors flying around everything. It's super serious. The allegations are horrendous. And I said if they turn out to be true at all, I'm obviously out on Conor McGregor. But you hope that they're not. Mm -hmm. Well, shitty situation all around. 
shitty situation. But let's. Uh, he's retired. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. He's not even not even a star. I didn't he's realize the like, other stuff had come until like I woke up in the middle of the night and was like, Conor McGregor retired. I also yeah. I also was sound asleep, and I, I was just like, man, today went so well last night. I was like, it couldn't have gone any better. You go to sleep, and I got my R two D two text tone <laughs> went <laughs> wild. Oh, geez, it sounded your like new Frank podcast, the yeah. Here again. <laughs> it was Fuck. like it was going bananas. And I wake up, I'm like, what the hell? I have a text from Coley, and it's just the, he sent me the tweet. There's nothing worse. There's no like, worse feeling than like, going. God like, damn oh, it. I remember we How taped. Yeah, we taped. A little topless Periscope from Bob yeah. last night. Flashing, oh, yeah. Flashing some nips. Yeah, I was Dude, flashing nips on yeah. Periscope last it's night. It's the worst the feeling in the world. It. I'm sure they did. We taped the like, episode guys of. started all over I again. also yeah. might have dabbled in the marijuana right beforehand. Uh, I was so baked on the You were very crazy. When you were doing the, like, wait for the Periscope to fill up, you were just like. Yeah. I mean. Sorry, mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cardi B. Cardi B keeps it real. I think she maybe kept it a little bit too real this time. She told everybody that uh, she used to tell dudes that she was going to fuck them, and then she would take them back uh, to a hotel or wherever, and she would drug them, and she would rob them. This there was also a video. I feel like Cardi B's above problematic. I don't, I don't oh, hate yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Honestly. I don't hate it. That's Cardi B for you. Yeah, like, it's like, it's like, like of course. I mean, I, I I said to Ebony, I was like, "What do you think of this?" She's like, "Motherfuckers do this all the time." Yeah, like, she, oh, okay. she then explained sure. to you. She's like, she's like, you drug them, so it's easier to steal. And you're like, "No, I understand." Oh like, yeah, we got that she, part. She, she was yeah. like, "Yeah, like when when they're passed out, like it's so much easier." Yeah, she's like, she's yeah. like, they can't fight back, and you're like, "Yeah, I know you drug." Understand them, the concept. Uh, is them. there any blowback? Uh, yeah, well, she her tweets were like, you know, y'all are trying to cancel me on Twitter and Instagram, like crying face emojis, like laughing face. I feel emojis. like she's uncancelable. Yeah, I do too. Oh, there's also another video. Uh, the girl, do you know about that Cardi B video? Is that new or old? The tranny one. Oh, so that one a, is. There's a video of her in a car, and she was like, I guess uh, along the same lines. A nigga cheat on me. I mean, a guy. I'm gonna take him out. We're gonna get drunk. I'm gonna get him all perked up and everything. We're gonna have a good time. Get him super twisted. Then bring a bitch around. We're gonna have a threesome. And when he wake up, he's gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah, because the bitch was a tranny. I'm be like, yup. Yup, we had a threesome with a tranny. Yup. Yup, a tranny suck your dick. You don't gotta fuck another nigga to get even, bitch. There's other ways to get even. I almost feel like saying tranny and, and doing that is that worse than, yeah. than the yeah, robbing. That's but the true. robbing is just like, yeah, she's, you know, that's the BX Yeah, it. word. That's how Cardi the, rolls. the robbing one is like everyone wants rappers to be so hard and like street tough until they are apparently because mm -hmm. yeah. now we're trying to cancel it. The hashtag surviving uh, Cardi B hashtag, that's very funny. That's funny. Um, but the, you're right though, Kevin. It's like words are somehow more worse than harmful actions. Yeah. than yeah. actions. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, there's just flat out a double standard. If a guy was drugging a girl, well, and, yeah. and doing anything or robbing her, it would be a catastrophe. A girl does it to a guy, and she's a little bit of like a, you know, tough chick from the hood. It's kind of like, okay, I don't know. It's not right. Yeah. It ain't right. No. Rhea wrote the blog, being like, uh, I, I'm against this, and we were all, <laughs> we were all kind of like, you pussy. We were like, making fun of her. Yeah, like she was like, I'm not bending on this one, guys. I'm not. No, you shouldn't drug and rob people. I get that, but it's Cardi B. Yeah, it's, it's Cardi B. Like, like, if uh, anyone's doing it, it should be her. Yeah. Yeah. That's, your rules. that's that's par for the course. Second half of the rundown is brought to you by Points Bet. Uh, you get fifty dollars plus two risk-free bets up to a thousand dollars. What does that mean? I can just bet a thousand dollars with no exposure. So you exposure? can bet up to a thousand dollars. Yeah, for and if you lose, you get it's a free bet. For a thousand bucks? Yeah. What's the gamble? I, mean, I know age? you guys dabble in big games, but I'll do eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-one. I think. Yeah. yeah. What's I think that? Twenty-one. I said, what's the gambling age? I I'd love to get in on that offer. Although it's eighteen for the lottery, so I don't know. But it's 21 for a casino. But that Good might be question. Good. You want to double check that? Uh, you can make, they're doing a make it rain promo. You get $3 for every three-pointer that your team makes in the tournament. And Points Bet's Karma Committee has also refunded UCF Moneyline Bets. Uh, so they're, they're in the game of, you know, they're doing what's right for a lot of the yes. gamblers out there. Good promotion, by the way. I mean, yes. I'm sure people fucking love it. Tourney's that. back on yeah. Thursday. Um, so go to uh, Points Bet. Dot com, I guess, and use the promo code Barstool to get the fifty dollars and the two risk-free bets up to a thousand bucks. The Mets are in the news for good reasons. Are you sure? I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, yes, my in your initial reaction to me, you sign what I think is the best pitcher in baseball for the rest of his serviceable years at a good price, team-friendly deal. You're not going to have to see him in pinstripes or any other team. That's a good thing. It's a great thing. 
me, being the ever pessimistic fan, I'm worried that like this means the Wilpons are going to close up the wallet. This is all they're spending, <laughs> yes, they and are. that's it. Because I could see them being like, yeah, well, we you know we signed Degrom, so that's it. But I don't also, know. he's going to get hurt. I'm mean, definitely. Like, yeah, that's definitely. So when I read it, I was like, is he hurt yet? A hundred percent. I mean, he, he's got to regress a little bit at minimum from last year because he just can't do what he did last year. It was like the best season ever. But yeah, I mean, he'll blow out his elbow or fuck up his shoulder or, or just like start to stink for some reason. It will happen inevitably. But yeah, for right now, uh, Jake is a Met. Then all of a sudden, though, real quick, the universe evens things out. Did you see their... Their, tr their practice up in Syracuse. Yeah, so Did Syndergaard basically <laughs> got DeGrom that. this money, Oh, right? absolutely. Syndergaard, like, spoke this into existence. I'm sure they were planning on it anyway. Right. But Noah speaks up and was like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, also, like, there goes your money, Noah. Like, he, which maybe Noah's probably happy. He's not going to be a Met long term. <laughs> but the Wilpons are not going to pay you that it's kind of money. Master plan, <laughs> yeah, he wants to get guy. the fuck out of yeah. Queens. I hate Noah Syndergaard so much. Really? Why? He's such a pussy. And why? he also can't call himself Thor because... Oh, that's why this is some comic book nerd shit. Oh, I get it. Can't call yourself Thor and then you got like finger toe injuries. Like, fuck off, Noah Syndergaard. Listers oh, are the, fucking yeah. tough. Right he is now. a pussy, straight up pussy. Friend meet of the, him at former friend of the six program. Inches, bud, see what happens. Yeah, I'll meet him at sixty. I'll meet him at rough and rowdy. He, didn't he are date, you challenging him to the octagon? I mean, rough and rowdy, I'd fight Noah Syndergaard. Yeah. <laughs> didn't he date Cooper Trooper? <laughs> he did. What's that? <laughs> Didn't he date Koopa Troopa? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Did you see him tweet about it? Yeah. Him last he, night? he did oh. a he did like a Twitter. Well, so also back to the Syracuse thing. He was very openly saying it's very stupid that the Mets planned a practice, a workout in Syracuse two days before. Opening Which day. is a hundred. I couldn't understand why they're true. doing that. It, it, it's their new AAA <laughs> affiliate, and they wanted to like promote it. Ugh. What the fuck are you talking about? It's why do you March care about promoting your AAA affiliate? And why? what would this do? W would you be like, oh, wow, the Mets practiced up in Syracuse, so I'm going to like go to see the AAA? What, what are we talking about here? Right. Sounds and like then, something that would happen here where like somebody like office manager Brett would book something and they would be like, why the fuck wait a minute, this? like it gets to the day before it, and they're like, wait, wait why are why? we doing this? Yes. Yeah. Right. What, what the AAA team should have done was stepped up and been like, this is causing a bunch of problems, we're just going to cancel it. Yeah. And they would have been the heroes. But then, so it's Syracuse, it's fucking late March, it's freezing, they're practicing inside at the football dome and they just have like a sandbox for the, for the mound. It's literally a wooden <laughs> box filled with dirt. So right, this. right away it was like, I mean, maybe an hour had gone by of people being like, wow, the Mets... The Mets did something smart, and then it was like, oh, wait a minute. They're having people pitch in a sandbox in a fucking dome <laughs> in Syracuse. That's how he gets hurt. Day. That's how he yeah, gets hurt. Yeah, I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe Syndergaard even took the mount. The mount. Like, yeah. I would have just refused to do the whole thing. So um, while also on top of all that, their flight back from Florida to get to Syracuse was delayed three hours. So it was just like one thing after another. And he tweeted, uh, I'm going to do a, a tarmac Q&A. And one of the questions was, does your ex have the most annoying voice ever? And he just tweeted, yep. Wow. So we can see he's handling this breakup. Damn. Shots fired. Yep. Talking about our coop. Um, last, to la last topic here. Um, Michael Avenetti, I believe is his name. Trump's lawyer uh, was trying to basically extort Nike, saying, I'm going to expose this bombshell report if you don't give me money. Uh, it was that DeAndre Ayton was getting money from Nike. <laughs> and I don't think anybody in the world cared. And Nike turned right around and was like, uh, we're going to arrest you for trying to extort us. Like, yeah. Go ahead with the news. We don't care. You're being arrested for extorting us. I, I, I didn't see, like, anybody, like, shame DeAndre Ayton's family or anything. I mean, that whole world, I think, as crazy as the world has gone, I think people are being very logical about college athletes. And they were just like, yeah, if he's going to wear Nike shoes and they pay his family for it. He's insanely talented. Yeah, like, good yeah. for him. I mean, Great. I feel like everybody wants that to just be the case anyway, and nobody cared. Yes. And now he's going to get arrested for extortion. Yes. So, uh, that moment, though, you, bro. between when he tweeted it, being like, I have explosive Nike news, and when the uh, district court was like, yeah, we're about to arrest this dude. Yeah. It was about 15 minutes, and everyone was Could just have like, been please anything. be Duke, please be Duke. Yep. It was awesome. Awesome. Uh, also, one other NBA highlight, this dude, uh, Yosef Nur Nurkic, just destroying his leg. Snapped. And the ref. The ref. <laughs> the ref, and the ref, the ref kicks him, stumbles <laughs> over him, and like, kicks his toe of his newly oh. mangled Joe Theismann-esque leg. Oh. Brutal. Guy was having a good year, too. That's a shame to see that. I feel like you almost 
Well, that leg is pretty mangled, but I feel like with Paul George and shit like that, people Sean bounce Livingston. back on these things. I yeah, feel just, bad saying it. I Sean watched, it, I watched really the ref kicking his foot so many yeah. times. That was so oh. funny. I mean, he's yeah. like <laughs> whistling and not even looking. Just it's dude. the most not like, like oh, this fucking guy's on the floor again. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right, somebody get this Almost over-exaggerated, like, look, bro, you're like, move, I'm stepping over you here. His leg was, I mean, Ugh. every which way it was just folded Poor up. Poor trailblazers. So. They're just fucking snake bit. Forever and ever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like Greg, Brandon think about Roy. Greg, Brandon Roy, Greg Oden. Mm-hmm. CJ McCollum got hurt a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Like, they were actually kind of a fun team this year. I just, yeah, it sucks. Uh, all right, after show, Bob Fox has himself a new podcast. Uh, My Mom's Basement. Yep. Which is the perfect name. Wait, for... your mom's basement or your mom's basement? It's called My Mom's, My mom's basement. basement. Yep. My mom cried when, when I told her that was the name of it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. How is your mom's basement? Uh, she, well, she doesn't have one anymore, but the the one that oh. I grew up in was sick. It okay. was like it was like my basement. Hey, I've nice. been, I made it the man cave. Basement before, nice. nice, nice. <laughs> uh, it's a catch-all for everything Bob for that, does. Kevin. Nice. MMA, music, TV, movies, comic book, wrestling, anything Bob does, which is cool. Yeah. I mean, everything here is so niche and so focused to have one that's a little bit, uh, you know, a broader uh, spectrum. And guest number one, Dana White. Making waves. Decent. Skip Bayless right away referenced it. Said Dana White was on a Barstool Sports podcast. Oh, wow. It was your boy, Bob Fox. Yeah. So, it's getting welcome referenced. to the podcast. There getting, you go. It's getting referenced a lot. Damn. I'm, I'm a big fan. I was, I was getting like a ton of interview opportunities for so many like cool people in different realms that I'd be like, I just have nowhere to put that. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Now so, you do. Now I have somewhere to put it. Can I come on? Where, of course. Can I go on your where, uh, where can people find it? What is it under? What category? So uh, it's under comedy right now. Okay. iTunes is. Don't do that. iTunes are kind of screwing comedy, us. Bro. I don't really care much about the rankings, if yeah. we're being honest, because I know with as niche, niche, whatever you want to call it. That's why you need to do. That's is, why. All right, let's pick one then. Let's pick a random. Just ranking. pick some random shit like yeah, vegetables and farming. Own it. Own it, dude. <laughs> they got my number one podcast and farming, that. whatever. Yeah. And then, and then if they ever come down on me, I'll be like, no, I cover everything. So like, I've talked about corn before with Trent. Religion, religion and yeah. spirituality. Religion and spirituality. I love no, no, I feel like, like Joe Austin. I, I bet yeah, like yeah, Oprah, yeah. Oprah Super Soul Sunday. Mm, Oprah would crush that. me. Spirituality I said, would somehow work. I said to you the other day. Games and hobbies. I need Oprah to do answer the internet. If, if Oprah does answer the internet, I promise you I'll retire right then and there. Dude, Bro, games I'm and out. hobbies. That, there's not a bunch of esports nerds? No offense. Maybe. No, I'm looking. It's not like that crazy. That actually is not even that I mean, like, it, false. It, it is mostly I mean? hobbies. Yeah. 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 Comic book so, reading. Not and, a bad idea. Shit like that. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter. You're right. No, it the rankings are kind of fugazi anyway, and it's all about just putting out good content and not worrying about yeah. that kind of shit. Next week, so, we got Jared Carabas on. Reuniting ooh, from the top guest. rope. The Rocket. Yep. Forget about Dana White. The Rockets coming from the top wow. rope reunion for uh, WrestleMania. Nice. Are we on iTunes yet, or just or just, is just Spotify? Just here. Yeah, MetLife Stadium. Oh, yeah, nice. Yep. So uh, it's, check it out on Spotify it's, right now. It's I've on been Spotify to, I've been right using now. Spotify yeah. More often for uh, podcasts. iTunes has given us trouble, but it'll definitely be on iTunes by tomorrow morning. Awesome. Check it out. My mom's basement. Subscribe, rate, review, give it a listen. Uh, congratulations to Dan one more time. See you tomorrow.